The Exumas. This glitzy Bahamas hideaway is the go-to retreat for some of the world's biggest celebrities. But when it comes to an uber-lavish lifestyle, none of them comes close to touching the biggest celebrities of these parts. The famous swimming pigs. Known the world over, these pampered pigs truly live a life high on the hog. Residing on their own private island, their days are filled with sunbathing, naps, and Swedish massages. With the glitz, glam, and grandiose life, these pigs would appear to have it all. But with fortune and fame, there is often a dark side. And it may have these bathing beauties sweating like pigs. This voracious predator has been known to dine on many atypical foods. From cows to dogs to iguanas, tiger sharks will eat nearly anything. But what we want to know is, have they added bacon to their menu? <laughs> Dr. Austin Gallagher and his team are in the Exumas to investigate if these swimming pigs should be running all the way home. We're at the world famous pig beach right here at Exuma, Bahamas. As you can see, there's lots of pigs here. They're swimming. These animals do come into the water to cool off. And one of the things that's really different about these pigs is you can see their snouts are actually a little bit turned up. So, you know, that may has evolved over time to allow them to really keep their nose above the water as they're swimming. It was never even meant to be a tourist attraction. Prior in the 1960s, people would have lived off the land. So you had people that were fishermen. They had pig pens in the 1990s. It was just kind of an urban legend. You knew that if you took a boat by this island, that these pigs are going to swim out to you. And there was a whole series of documentary movies about it, social media craziness. And tiger sharks, they're actually one of the most adaptive sharks on the planet. They thrive in shallow water habitats like these sand flats and seagrass beds. This is exactly the zones where tiger sharks like to hunt. So it really makes sense to pose the question, are these pigs also on the menu? Are the tiger sharks looking to take these little piggies to market? Or are the pigs free to swim in their paradise without threat to their pretty in pink lives? If I found out the sharks are eating pig, I'm gonna be sad at the beginning, but then it's part of life, you know? If I was the shark in the water, I would easily eat a pig. Why? Because they're yummy. <laughs> Delicious. They're big and fat. <laughs> oh, he's bony, this one. He needs food. Looking to blow the house down with concrete evidence that tiger sharks don't find pigs a big old bore. We also now need to catch a shark in order to obtain a DNA sample. But that DNA sample is not from the tiger shark. It's what the tiger shark's been eating. So in order to get that, we're going to put a Q-tip into the cloaca. It was basically the butt of the tiger shark. Uh, wait, what? Austin is going to poke what with what? Swab it around in any food that that shark's been eating. Its DNA is going to be there. We're going to run that swab through a few machines. That's going to help us really see is there pig DNA coming through their intestines? and will confirm whether or not pigs are on the menu. So we're out here right now looking for big tiger sharks. We know that they're found in this area. Before we do that, we need to get some lines in the water. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, guys, this is the first drop. Piece of bait, like okay. a piece of flesh, yeah. Beautiful. Sweet. Let it out, let it out. All right. Definitely a shark on it. You can tell Scotty to slow down. Yeah, some... Scotty, neutral. neutral! Neutral! Bump it back a sec. Guys, it's a beautiful tiger shark. This is amazing. We thought they might be here. Shark's swimming your way. This is going to be super critical for our research here. All that. We'll do a quick workup on it, get a swab on it. It looks like about the size it could take down, you know, maybe a small pig, so this is exciting. 
gonna reel the shark up here. The apex predator of these waters. Here we go. Watch yourself. Watch yourself, Mark. It's a huge shark. Female. Okay, just the tail end, tail end down. Watch yourself. Neutral. Scotty, less, less, Scotty. Hold on. All right, all right. There she goes. Can you get a tail rope on that? All right. This is awesome, guys. We're going to see if there's any pig DNA coming through that digestive tract. And uh, that's exactly what we want. So we're super excited about this moment. All right, let's get ready to do everything. All right. Total length, 238. 154 PCL, 175 fork, 225 total. And the acoustic tag, 00720. And now we're going to do the colloquial swab. So here's our cloacal swab. This is such a cool technology because we're going to put this Q-tip into the shark's cloaca here, and it's going to basically scrub any DNA from any food that it's been eating. All right, let's see if the shark's been eating any pigs. This is essentially the shark's butt because it's going to be pooping and crapping out of this spot. So anything it eats, the DNA is going to be there. All right. Okay, and there we go. Might be some pig DNA on this Q-tip. That just goes in its thing. Release. Guys, I feel phenomenal right now. It's a nice job, David Wells. That was great. That is epic! Woo! Woo! So now that we've got our pig and shark DNA, now we're gonna do a little bit of genetics work here on the RV Tigris. So I've set up my lab, and we'll be able to know in real time whether or not pigs are on the menu. I took the swabs and hair from the pig and ran them through a centrifuge with some different fluids. And now I have pure DNA here from each of these samples. We're going to create millions and millions of copies of their DNA in something called a polymerase chain reaction, also known as a PCR. You might have heard of PCR before if you've taken a COVID test. This is exactly the same technology. So this is pig number one. This is actually a Shark Week first, which I'm really excited for. To my knowledge, this is the first time that anybody has ever looked for pig DNA in a cloacal or butt swab of a tiger shark. All right, we're doing pig number two now. Let's go. All right, now this is the moment I've been waiting for. So if we get a positive hit on this sample, then we know for sure this tiger shark has been snacking on pigs and bacon within the last two weeks. We just finished running through the tests, and the results are amazing. We actually saw a positive hit in lane number three. You can see it's got the darkest and the thickest concentration there. No doubt about it, there is clearly pig DNA in that sample. Pigs are in some way on the menu for tiger sharks, at least for this individual. But as in any type of science, you know, there's not a 100% guarantee of that. This tiger shark may have gotten pig DNA in its mouth by just swimming around or swam into an oil plume of pig DNA. We need to do one more test. So we're going to go out back to the field. We're going to bring our friend Jeff the prosthetic pig decoy, and we're going to see if we can induce a strike on the decoy from a live tiger shark. What you all came here to see is some real pig versus shark action. Let the games begin. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. You might remember my prosthetic pig, Jeff Todd, generously donated himself to the sharks. Nothing on this prosthetic pig is going to harm the sharks. It's very soft, it's very natural, but it's time. So let's get this thing in the water. All right, let's make it happen. Pig versus shark. All right, I got 
Carolina Tiger. Coming. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Is that a tiger? Oh! Wow, it likes it. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. Yes! We got a tiger shark on the pig. This is amazing right here. It came right up. This is amazing. Oh. The Tiger Shark did not disappoint. So we just wrapped our investigation here in Exuma, and the results are incredible. We had so many different data points that we brought together, we learned a lot. We learned that there are sharks of all sizes, small, medium, but of course some really big ones, spending a lot of time around the pig colony. We saw these animals striking the baits. And on the PCR test, we found pig DNA, proving that tiger sharks are eating these pigs. It's always nice when your observations match the data, so I'm really excited to be able to kind of move the scientific field forward here, proving pigs are on the menu. Also want to give a big thanks to our friend here, Jeff Todd. What a trooper. We put him through a lot and we were able to actually induce a strike. And you can see some of these bite marks here. The entire lower jaw gone, a few feet missing. But when I was swimming with these pigs at the pig colony, I actually thought that this area was one of the most vulnerable. So much meat there, this is the strike zone. And you can see clearly this is where the tiger sharks actually preferred to strike when we had this in the water as the decoy. So. I'm really impressed that we were able to pull all these data streams together. It's really all about the tiger sharks. They are the kings and queens of this domain. And I'll be honest with you, I would not want to be a pig living the Exumas.